We devised a whole load of games involving skills like problem solving that exercise the frontal lobes, memory that stretch the temporal lobes, and maths that use the parietal lobes. You guys generally think that the brain training has improved your brains? Yes. Yes. OK, who's keen to find out what the scientific results of this study were? Yes. 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 Me too. Liz? OK, it's time for the moment of truth. Now, we already know brain training games make you better at those games, but do they improve your brain power, like some of the commercial games imply? Thank you to all of you in our studio and at home who took part. We could not have done this without you. First up, let's look at the control group that did no brain training at all, but they did spend time on the computer searching the internet. Now, our scoreboard represents roughly the range of scores for all our participants. Let's look at their mental ability at the beginning of the six weeks. This is how they scored on our tests of memory and problem solving. There it goes. Excellent. So that's the score they got before the six weeks. Average score of 4.6. And this is how the control group did after the six weeks. Now, in theory, there shouldn't be much difference. There we go, there we go. Ooh, right. Our test gave them a score of 4.8. So. Not much of a change there. Remember, that's the result of our control group. So, so far, so good. But now for the interesting bit. Does brain training have any effect on your overall mental abilities? Brain trainers, let's see how you did before brain training, shall we? There it goes. Our tests of memory and problem solving gave you an average score of 4.6, exactly the same as our control group. But how did you score afterwards? Did brain training make any difference? Six weeks, remember, of brain training, thousands of you across the nation. Did you do any better than our control group? Are you ready to find out? Let's find out. Ooh. Where's it gonna stop? <gasps> That's almost the same as our control group. Can you believe it? Our test gave you, our brain trainers, an average score of 4.9. Are you shocked and horrified? How are you feeling about this? Yes. Adrian, can I ask you to join me? I am frankly quite surprised by the results. Okay, so we've got 4.8 from our control group, 4.9 from our brain trainers. So it's 0.1 of a difference. Does that mean anything? Well, unfortunately, when we do the direct comparison between the brain trainers and the controls, yeah. the difference is statistically completely meaningless. There is no, there is no oh, difference between them. OK, but what about the difference between the brain trainers pre and the brain trainers post training? So we've got 4.6 to 4.9. Does, does that mean anything? I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you again, Liz. Um, that difference is so small, again, it's statistically not meaningful. Can we actually say that brain training games don't work? The result is crystal clear. Brain training is only as good as spending six weeks using the internet. There was no meaningful difference between the two groups. Pretty surprising stuff, I'm sure you'll agree. Adrian, thank you so much for joining us.